I'm gonna get to work. I think I'm gonna. The tarp came off the, the chicken run again, so we're gonna go ahead and re put that up. We're gonna do a better job this time, though. We've got a better way to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do right now, we're gonna look at what we did before. We just put the cleats up, and that was for the plastic. I'm actually gonna be taking the plastic down here soon, if not today. So I'm just gonna take this off. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip that out. We don't need it anymore. All right, so now that I got all the, uh, the plastic off, I've got a couple of screws, like this guy right here that I'm gonna go ahead and take out. Now that I did that, I noticed I got a board here that's coming off, so I'm going to pop this off for a minute. We're just going to clean this up. Now what that board is there for is to connect the, um, the A-frame here to the side to keep it from falling off any further. And that's actually what happened is during the winter it slipped and it pushed that off. The other thing it's there to do is my chicken run has chicken wire over the top here and it's bent over so that seals that seam as well. So we're going to go ahead and reconnect that board. Alright, so one of the first things I'm going to need to do is remove all these little nails that I have in here that were holding the, uh, the trim board up. Alright, we're actually going to use the the good pliers for this and we put those away and use the ones that are meant for this. These crescent pliers, and I'll put a link to down in the description on where you can get these. These are designed for pulling nails. It's got a nice little arch here. So all you do is put it on the nail that you want to remove. I'll show you on the other side. All right, so the way this works is you get this nice little arch here. So you just put it on your nails and then you just pull it. And because as you're pulling, you're actually pushing on the one that's pushing up, it gets tighter around the nail as you go. So you don't lose, you don't, you don't lose grip on your nail. So again, just grab it and pull.
All right, so that's much better. All right, so that other tarp has been up here for a while, and it got pretty well damaged, so I went ahead and I got a new tarp for it. Um, and the reason that tarp got as damaged as it did was simply due to the fact that it was um, not tight on here, and we got some heavy winds and it just kept flapping and eventually tore the tarp because it had too much flex in it. So we're gonna go ahead and put up a new tarp. This is one of the old uh, corner goat pieces of tie that I had on here that came off. So I'm just going to use this, take it off, make sure we got a good run here. Just go around it, yep. And then I'm just going to toss this over the coop. Close enough down on the other side that I can get to it. Get the pass fight in. Get it on. Go. All right, so the biggest thing I'm doing differently this time is I'm actually going to attach it. Going to utilize a washer and a screw to go through. I'm going to use a washer and a screw to go through the grommet and actually hold that on. So we're going to put this one in place right there. I'm not going to tighten it down too much right now, just in case I need to move it. But that's going to put it in place for right now.
I tacked that down up here so that that'll be nice and tight. Now I just got to figure out how I'm going to attach the flap down here. This section of the flap as, as well as the section that's back there. Alright guys, so one of my ultimate goals here is to try to prevent this stuff from flapping around. So I got an easy solution to that. Zip tie. Pull it tight. We'll just zip tie it on. And that's going to keep that from flapping. Alright guys, so that looks much better. We still got them covered for most of the area, and then we have an open area in the back. Just like with any other job, guys, the job isn't done until we put the tools away and we clean up. So I'm going to take care of that. You guys have a great day. Thanks for coming along. Remember to click that subscribe button. Bye, guys.